Hi guys! Welcome to my channel, or if you've been to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would do a makeup video. I have not done one of these in a while, like a get ready with me video. I'm not really going anywhere, just thought I would do a video. And because I have learned a different, a, quite a few different tricks, I've gotten uh, some better quality makeup. And so I thought that I would share with you guys. So, okay, let's just jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to use is this Almay Smart Shade. This is actually an anti-aging skin tone mat um, matching makeup. It's just a foundation. I really like the color of it and the way it like sets on my face. Oh, actually that's not the first thing I'm going to use. Sorry. Sorry, bro. But no, I'm actually going to use the face primer. This is by Hard Candy. If anybody knows any better um, face primer, please let me know. I... This is almost gone, so I need to get something new anyway, but yeah, I, this is okay, I feel, but it's just not exactly, I don't know, I just don't like it all that much. I'm just fixing, let me fix the camera, sorry guys, that's a little better. So yeah, so I'm just going to start with putting this, and I just rub this on, I don't get really any fancy with it, I literally just plop it on my face, maybe. See, it's, it's running so low, might not be able to use it. Okay. Well, okay, got some. So, yeah, I just apply it onto my face, you guys. Nothing too, like, extraordinary. I'm going to try to do this right into the camera. And not, like, now I got too much. Dang it. What a waste. Okay. Anyway, it's on my face. <sighs> I know I just had a towel somewhere. Okay, well, whatever. Alright, hold on guys, I gotta wipe that off on my towel. Okay, so. The next thing I'm gonna use is the All May. And I just like, literally, I just put this like all over my face. Like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Ha! Makeup done! I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be funny though, right? <laughs> Like, hey girl, what's up with your makeup? Well, you know, I just got it done. Don't it look great? <laughs> um, okay, and then the other thing that I use, part of the hair, I don't, is, now where did that go? I just had all this out. Oh no, okay. Is, I'm just going to use this, it's called Camouflage by Hard Candy, and it's just a, a um, concealer. And I just like to just literally put this, like, kind of under my eyes, down my nose, and, like, just around. And I just, what I like to do is I just like to mix these all at the same time. It just, to me, makes a little more sense. Okay. I'm not sure what the heck I just dropped over there. Let me just check real quick, guys. Oh, my also powder. Ah. Okay, sorry guys, I dropped my thing. Okay, so then I just blotch, obviously. Blotch, blotch, blotch. I know you're not supposed to rub, but sometimes you have to rub to get it to go in good. I just like kind of do sometimes a circular position like this. I know it seems like it's like, um light all over I mean it looks like I have a lot but I really don't once you blotch it all in and you blend it it's really not as much as it looks so I just blotch 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 um Okay, and make sure you, like, blotch your hairline. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. It's kind of weird because my face looks so white in the camera, but it's really not that white on, in real person. In real person, I can't even talk. Okay, so literally, I just put this on. It's 
black shot, black shot, black shot. Okay, so I got maybe a little bit too much on, so I'm just going to rub it in the rest of the way with my fingers. Normally I do not rub with my fingers, guys. I really don't, but okay, so I just want to make sure that next to my nose ring is good and next to this ring is good. Okay, so that's what I use for um, foundation. And I know it makes my face look kind of white in here, but I swear, you guys, it's not, it's not white. <sighs> it's not white. Oh, my God. Okay, so the other thing that I use, a lot of times I will use this, you guys, over top of it, but I'm not going to do that today. But I do like to use this eliminating powder by Ulta. And I know, like, some people are like, oh, that's a lot of highlighter. But to me, it's really not a lot of highlighter. Um, this, this just gives, like, a little bit of a glow. It's not bad. If I can get it, why isn't it not opening? I swear everything is just not working for me today. Okay, got it. So I just take, like, a pretty thicker brush. And I just literally just throw it all over my face just to give my face a little bit of a shine. All the, you know, for the all around look, not just for your under your eyes. So that's pretty much all I do. And I just like to look, I mean, I know you can't see it pretty much in the, in the camera, but it just really just gives it like a really kind of a glossy setting powder. I really like that. So... Okay, and then I'm just going to use my, why is everything just not right where it says, because I'm just going to use, this is Hard Candy um, Eye Primer, so I'm literally just going to, I use my hands for this too, I use my hands for a lot of this stuff you guys, I know a lot of people say you shouldn't, but I do. So just put it on. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Now I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics eyeliner. You guys know that I love well, actually you know what? I'm gonna do the top liner first. I've been, I forget that I'm like changing that around a little bit because then it works better for my winged area to where I can set it. So what I'm going to use is I love, I love, love, love this Kiss gel liner. I love it. Some people don't like it, but I love it. I think it works really, really well, and it goes on. Oh, and I learned this trick, okay? I know this looks dangerous, and I know a lot of people use tape. I can't get the whole tape thing down, so I use this, and I legit just use it just to mark my eye. I do the same thing over here. just to mark it and then I just finish it up on my own if you guys hear people yelling ignore it it's not my house I live in town and you can hear Everything that goes on. And yes, it does stink. So yeah, I just make a wing. I've gotten pretty good at my wings. A lot better, I should say. I'm not great. But I've gotten better. Oopsie. And when I say that, then I go... And I mess up. Wonderful, Jamie. Wonderful. So let me just fix that real quick, y'all. Just going to take this. I got some Avon face makeup remover that I love and adore. I love this makeup powder. 
or makeup remover and let me tell you it lasts so long okay now I gotta restart that I'm sorry you guys I hope this video isn't gonna be too long for you guys but I feel like I really wanted to just make a new one to see so that you guys can see how improved I've actually gotten and it's really thanks to some of you people on YouTube I watched a lot of your guys's videos and have really come a long ways Sorry, I wasn't looking at you guys at that point. I needed to look in the bigger mirror. Okay, so now I'm just going to correct it and fix up the lines. It's not perfect. But at least you guys are getting the gifs of how I've been doing it. And what I do, you guys, is like this inner line, I don't obviously make it as thick as the back line. Part of my little facial expressions with my mouth. Okay. So that's the wings. I think they turned out pretty good. Considering I just messed it all up. Might be a little a little bit uneven. So I'm just gonna like leave that for a minute. I know that a lot of people do the eyeshadow first, and you know what? I was going to do that and then I forgot. So then I just used the Thrive Cosmetics, like I said, for under the eye. Okay. What did you do, Jamie? Okay, so. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I gotta look in that mirror. <laughs> okay, so that's what I did there. Uh, and I will go back over the eyeliner. Um, I really do. After I put the eyeshadow on, which I know I was gonna do the eyeshadow first. Like I said, I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? So I think today I am going to actually do two colors of eyeshadow. And I'm going to hold on, I got you know you I had everything like oh there it is. So I'm going to use a Sephora, which this color is called Let's Dance. And then I'm just gonna use well I'm gonna and then I'm gonna use this which is Alta, and the color is actually just called pink. And it's very shiny, very glittery. I love it. I love the shinier glitter stuff. So I'm just going to take my brush, and I'm going to put the Sephora on first. Oh, if I don't ruin it. And I just take one of these little brushes and literally I just go, I'm going to just go over the eye. And the reason I use these two colors together is because this Alta, I mean the Sephora one, it's not, personally I don't like it all on its own, but I do like it, um, the shininess of it. So that's why I don't use it on my on its own. I just literally use it for more of the glitter base. Because as you can see, it really doesn't have much of a color. It does have a little bit of a color, but not not like very much. So then I just come back through here with the eyeshadow. The I'm using the pink also now. And I just literally love to go up. And I do like my whole eye and I love it like that. 
I just do the whole eye and it just gives it a little bit of shine shimmer to it okay not anything too like extravagant and then what I do I'm sorry this is gonna be a long video I don't mean it to be um but I'm I'm really almost done so I'm gonna take like this this is just a light like oh this is just called honey it's by auto 2 um I basically just go like in the corners here touch this up go down to give your inner eye just a little bit of shine you don't want it to be too dark because you know then people are gonna be like what did she do to her face you know but I literally just give it just a little bit of shine not too much guys because literally this is too it's very um it can come out very very dark and too shiny almost so yeah I'm just doing this little okay and like I said you don't want to do too much you really don't because you will have way too much on your eye okay so then once that's done I like to just go back over a little bit because um, you know that's more for the corner of your eye and then go back over it with just a pink to give yourself back that more pink look and I feel like now I'm messing the whole eye up but anyway if you get it so where it's a little too much like what I just got I dab I dab 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 take your dabber like it's no joke and like just dab it up a little bit and see it like takes off all that access it actually works really really good um, doing it that way and then what I do is I just take my Ulta um, liquid liner pen, pen whoop, as I ruin it for you guys sorry uh, you sh shake it up and I literally just go back over the eye a little bit and the reason I use this is because it actually gives it a little bit more of a finished look like a glossy look almost like you did it in it helps with the eyeliner just keep the gel eyeliner set set not set jeepers can't even talk you guys sorry so as you can see it just really just gives it a little bit more of a finished look and you don't have to, you don't have to do this you can just stick with your gel um like i said these are just some little tricks that i've learned and where did the cap go to that <clears throat> Oh, I, oh, there it is. I literally lose everything, you guys. Everything. I just got to fix the corner of my eye here a little bit. Thank God for mirrors. Because I would have a mess. Okay, normally what I do, I'm not going to do this since I'm not going anywhere. Um, Normally what I also do is I take this black. Um, It's like, it's by... This is actually by Maybelline. I got it at Ulta, but it's a Maybelline brand. But I take the black of this. As you can see where I've dabbed it. And I literally just put... Here, let me just show you a little bit what I do. I'm not going to do it all. I literally just take a little tiny bit. And I do this. I dab the eye. You don't rub. Dab, dab, dab. Because if you rub, you're going to get it in your eye. And then I do the same thing over here. And that helps keep your eyeliner from setting, like, or from running, I mean, uh, like, when you're out and about. I'm not going to do it because, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just sitting in the house. But, so, yeah, that's totally, like, just all that I do on my, with that. And so, then I take, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so I take this bronzer. I usually use these two colors together. You can let me open it back up a little bit for you. And I don't know how to say the name of this. Hikari. I don't want to say it wrong, but um so I literally, like I said, I take these two colors together. And I just do this. 
And then sometimes I even like come out towards here, even though I know that I put my highlighting there. And do that. Because then it gives my face a little bit more of a darker color. And I do the jawline here. And literally, it just gives you like a little bit of a finish. And then I come up here and do the same thing up here. And it's not, I don't put a whole lot. I don't go crazy with it. Uh, you know, I just put just a little bit. Okay. And then I take this, which is my highlighting kit. It's just called um, Strobing Highlighter. It's not... I literally got this for $3 at 5 and below. I did not pay a lot of money for it. And you know what? I love this better than my expensive highlighter. And I'm not even kidding. Um, so I just take this and I mix these two colors. And I just go under my eye. Oh, girl, look at that highlighter, girl. Oh, yeah. I love highlighting. It's probably my favorite part of makeup. Besides the eyeliner. And I just like that. Oh yeah girl that looks so good. Go down my nose. Just give my nose a little bit. And then under here. And then up here. Okay. And I I love highlighter. Like I just like obviously I just said that. I love highlighter. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's my favorite part of makeup. So then I take this glowing illuminating cream. I literally just put a tiny bit here literally just a tiny you don't need a whole lot because you don't forget you already have your eyeliner on so I literally just give it a little bit of a shine not even anything too 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 much okay literally just a little bit of a shine do I even have any more on my just make sure I rub that all in. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much what I do with that. Okay, and now for my brow. You guys know that I'm not like a huge brow person. I don't, my brows are not always on fleek. But anyway, I got this. Um, it's just by Maybelline. I do have like all the kind of stuff. I don't like it. I just, I really like this. And I literally just put it on. Just a smidge. I don't go all crazy. My eyeline, my eyebrows are pretty good. Like, um, you know, I get them waxed and they look pretty darn good. So, and then I just take this and comb it in. Give it the real nice look. I don't know why that's, in the, it's got like a shadow on that right there. That's really not my eyebrow, you guys. <laughs> okay. And finish up with it. Okay, that's what I do there. And then I take my Ulta Mascara. And you guys know, if you've watched previous videos, I am not a huge person for mascara. I don't really care for it. But I do use it now because just to make these a little bit better. But I'm not very good at putting it on either. I am really just not. I get it everywhere. So yeah, I just... You get a little better. It's not great, but whatever. I use that. And I, oh, I, I said that was by Ulta. Okay, I hope I did. Anyway, and then I have this um, Ulta Brow Gel. Which I probably should have put that on before I put the... Doing things a little bit. And this just holds your eye, your eyebrow stuff in place. You don't need a lot of it. Trust me, it is very potent and stuff. And... Like, it's just literally just sets your, it just sets everything, okay? So, now, I have all that. I do normally put on a finishing powder. Uh, so, it just, like, it just sets the foundation and the concealer. Uh, maybe I will put a little bit on to show you guys. I don't gonna go crazy with it. I also have a finishing powder... Um, I'm going to use this big brush because I literally just, literally don't even use a whole lot. But, a lot, like, a little goes a long way in this case. And, like, see, I mean, it really just goes, like, a long way. So, you just put this on all over. You don't have to get excessive with it. Like, literally, it's just a little bit of powder. Some people use a lot. Some people use a little. I only use a little. It just gives it a setting look. And I 
normally put a little bit more like of that on but like i said i'm not going anywhere today i don't see the point in doing a whole bunch of stuff but yeah so um this pretty much what i do and then i do also put on i'm gonna just put a little bit more of this on guys because i feel like the highlighter i will tell you guys i love highlighter and then i feel like it's not even highlighting right now And then the other thing that I do, as a rule, like I said, I also have this Ulta Mineral Finishing Powder for your eyes. And I usually do put that on, but I'm not actually going to put that on today. And so then you guys, I, a lot of you guys know that I can't really use lip glosses and stuff. I have been able to use this Wet n Wild. And so I just literally just did a quick, uh, 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 this has not broke me out, surprisingly. And yeah, guys, so that is my look. Sorry, the lighting has just got, like, really bright. But, so, that's what I do, guys. And I need to fix my eyeliner. But, yeah, so... If you guys have any questions or you want to know anything else that I use or you guys have suggestions or ideas on how to make my face look better, uh, you guys can let me know. And if you guys have, like I said, any questions at all, just, you know, ask me and I'm really good about answering. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys liked my makeup video. And if you guys have anything else you guys would like to see, let me know also. I'm looking for video ideas. And so if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, like, hopefully subscribe. And I will talk to you guys all for my next video. Bye, guys.